Moi Swimmy and hello Eurovision fans! It is William Carling from Movie Blogs and we are super excited because Finland's Udin Music and Kyo 2024 is on and the first song is out Daban! Hey William! Hello! Happy New Year guys! Should we talk about it? <laughs> Let's do this! You guys, Cyan Kicks are back. They, of course, placed second at the 2022 competition, and they return with the song Dancing with Demons. I'm reading on the Wee Wee Blogs website that the song is about the following. Everyone has their own weaknesses and demons, which we're ashamed of and don't want anyone else to see. Then we thought, what if we were able to make our own inner demons our allies? What would happen? That is according to Susanna, the lead singer. The UMK jury had this to say about the song. Placing second in the 2022 contest for new music UMK, Cyan Kicks is convincing with its song entry, which brings the group back to the competition for a second time round. The song has a catchy, strong chorus, as well as depth and unexpectedness, which will help it withstand the test of time and keep it imminently listenable. The sound and interpretation of singer Susanna are full of emotion, both during the slow sections and the more powerful parts of the chorus. The explosive energy of Dancing with Demons cements the band's play as a strong, modern bearer of Finnish rock tradition. Well, they certainly blew that trumpet. Question is, are they gonna strum them guitars on T? All right. Hitting Palais. Oh, she is dancing and lightning in the rain. Up in the oh. Is that waterproof? I think PVC wow. is. Okay. She chose the smartest wardrobe for that torrential rain. A bikini, leather bikini. Oh my gosh, she is wet. Oh, oh that pole is getting worked. She's giving me oh, yeah. sexual scorpion. Oh, she sounds sweet. Oh. This is excellent. Giving me That's insect. Good. Giving me witch. Giving me dominatrix. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I love the fact that they're invested in the visuals as well, right? So. My army's got my back. This is not bad. I didn't know queens danced in the dead of night with demons. Giving me a Luke Black visual. Oh yeah. She's being choked. <laughs> you don't choke oh, out girls. A roller coaster <laughs> centipede running through her neck. Is it through or running around her neck? Follow her. So I can be free, girl. Give me Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, X. I want to be free. I don't care for this bridge. Oh, okay. didn't go in that direction. Yeah, this is definitely Finnish rock 2024. Oh, oh, visually, oh. this is so arresting. She likes that water. Our girl is amphibious. What's she hanging by? Oh yeah. Okay, they need a warning about all this strobe. Woo. You know, and the band is really kind of invested in this, right? It's not just... She whips oh. her hair back. Oh, I like oh, the wow. surprising ending. Oh, I like that! I really like that! Oh my goodness. First of all, Finnish advertisers, Finnish 
home goods. Finish. What I'm trying to say is get the girl a shampoo commercial. Her hair looks incredible while soaking wet. Her body, she is like this amphibian or maybe a reptile. She's waterproof. There is the storm, but she is going to deal with her demons in the night like the queens, which is apparently a thing. You know what I really like about this? This is not like post-production editing. Susanna is really putting in the hard work. She is like grafting, you know, you can, you know, the guitarist Neela as well. This is really harmonious and they're invested in their project. Of course, you know, there are a few... My issue with this, and it's not a bad thing, I feel like the demo version of this would have been an excellent product and they've just tried to popify it for Eurovision, right? So it's almost like the genre would have been hard rock, you know, the, the, the original imaginings of this track, and it's just gone through this really glossy pop filter. So what you're getting is a weakened version of, actually no, remove. What you're getting is a pop version of a harder base product. Doesn't make it weak, but decidedly like, okay, we need to make this more pop and we need to keep it in the three minute mark for Eurovision. And I kind of feel like this is what they've done. It doesn't feel like this is what they originally came up with and what they originally imagined. But what they've done, which is great, is that they paired this with really electrifying visuals and you know choosing the sort of the stormy studio setting i think is quite ingenious wow this is visually quite something and i think that's really important yes it's a good rock number if you strip the words away there's a very clear rock vibe i think it progresses i think it feels shorter than three minutes. I like how they go for it. It's really hard, like boom. But then she's got the sweet chorus where she kind of peel, peels back. She ain't scared no more, okay? She's giving me the rock version of Sarah Alto with some real spooky monsters. Like these are not the cute fuzzy type you collect, you know, that are filled with sand or beans, beanie babies. No, these are demons. Um, like the message. The lyrics for me, it's fine. It's fine. A lot of people don't listen to music for lyrics. It's fine. The song, it's fine. You know, it, it's one color. It, there's a palette. And if you like this palette, you will like this song. I would not necessarily put this on a playlist. I would not necessarily download this. And I would not necessarily vote for this if it was just a track. But Cyan kicks kick hardest when they bring in the visual element. They can perform. Susanna had me staring at her for the full three minutes. She could have been reading the phone book. She could have been saying that Finnish alphabet. She, it doesn't matter. She's captivating. And visually, it's giving me Game of Thrones wickedness. It's giving me whatever Luke Black did, industrial darkness. It's giving me manga darkness. It's giving me Scorpion Queen what I'm trying to say is I'm not the biggest fan of the song, but I think as a live stage show, a live stage show, this will be very strong. They're thinking about television, and this is a TV contest. So, yeah, I expect this to elevate live because, my God, they can perform. She, where did she get all that water? Wait, was she wringing it out of that big old ponytail? She could probably mop it all up with that big old ponytail. Again, I'm thinking about the visuals. Do I remember the chorus? It's fine. It, it's fine. More to the point, though, UMK, hello. They are pushing, you know what? In the last sort of, actually, even when they did the sort of internal house thing, you know, with Sarah Alto and Daru, they still... You still had to choose songs, right? It wasn't just the case of, you know, internally selecting behind the scenes, closed door shop. No, 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 no. They are still, the TV producers are still working. They're still creating a product, a show, and people can get engaged in it. And I feel like every year now, certainly in recent years, I would say comfortably since 2017, 
they have been pushing out, in fact, since Krista Siegfried's Marry Me to now, they have consistently invested in UMK to the point that it's just an exciting, this is Eurovision. This is when I start getting fired up for Eurovision. I feel like UMK really does kick ass, honey, Cyan kick. Oh, I like it. I like it. Will this win UMK? You know what? UMK is now at the point where last year, honestly, I wanted five songs to go through, really. Songs that don't make it out of UMK are often actually better than a lot of the Eurovision final submissions or Eurovision finalists, rather. Um, no, this is this is really amazing. They placed second in 2022. And yeah, this year, they could actually beat that. Although it is premature because this is the first song to drop. And you kind of always feel like, hmm, is there something better in the bag? But if this wins UMK, I'm comfortable with it. And I'm happy about it. And Zion Kicks, they're great. And they'll do a great job. And we know Susanna can sing and dance at the same time. I mean, we have no issues here at all. Um, the song, of course, has a bit of UK involvement with Daniel Lancaster. So, yeah, yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Is this better than Hurricane? Like a hurricane, you're talking down the wall. Yeah, I prefer this. I think I saw on social media people prefer that, but I didn't like Hurricane. Whereas this, visually, yeah, this is giving me something. All right, well, that's what we think. What do you think? Could Cyan Kicks win Udin Muzgun <laughs> UMK 2024? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. Cyan Kicks. Are you guys on Pinterest? If you are, follow Wee Wee Blogs on Pinterest. And we will see you later. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.